call this meeting to order. Uh, it closes two o'clock. Susan, will you call the roll, please? Mm -hmm. Todd Bola. Here. Chris Lyle. Here. Kenny Green. Here. Baby Jones. Here. Kirby Melvin. Here. Crystal Hines. Here. Thank you. Uh, first thing, guys, uh, I guess third thing, is about bidding out this uh, crushed stone and I put that. I think I put that in in your all's things about the advertising for the uh, uh, stone and stuff. I just got a copy of what's on the uh, agenda. Okay. It's well, on the agenda. It, nothing. This is the form I made up. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't make copies of it. We could pass it around. It's all right. It, I mean, it's pretty standard, but it's advertising for. Asphalt in place, asphalt at the plant, crushed stone delivered, crushed stone picked up, gravel and culverts. That's the four things. And uh, Crystal, is there is there a law that we have to have so many days in between these bids, or advertising and then opening the bids? Um, I believe that there is. Twenty one days. Have to have, um, <clears throat> let me look it up real quick. Yeah, see if there's anything you can think we need to add to that, Kirby. There's something we do every year. Uh, and and I just went off last year's. Do yeah. we bid the oil? I, I don't I don't remember doing the culverts. I mean, I, all I remember was the asphalt at the plant and delivered and at the, the, the different aggregates too, you, you know. Your usually Nugent puts in and a uh, lighter. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's uh, Hankel's now as far as it's asphalt LVA, yeah. and uh, oh, I think Oldham County Stone might even. I think they did yeah. last year. Yeah, I know we put a bid for that. Oh, excuse me. I know, I know we put a bid in for the asphalt and all that. You know, I didn't know. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about the oil for the. Uh, uh, I think there's only one place we can get that, isn't it? It's over in Indiana, ain't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Switzerland County. Yeah. For that Patrick. <clears throat> I mean, you could. I guess we could advertise for it, but if nobody bids it, we can still buy it if we need to. Right, go ahead. There crushed dates on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There eights on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you said something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fifty-seven nine nine m eights twos. Yeah. I think the nines are what they use in that total patcher, it and is. it's a washed. That, that's probably yeah, what the M is. I think it is. Was washed. W washed. Washed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on the asphalt, you just advertise it to, you know, pick up at the plant or delivered. Yeah, that's how I put on that. And most of the time, to get prices on both. That's it by the time. <laughs> A lot of them, lot, most of the time we get the price uh, up to so many tons, and then if it's over so many tons, they give you a break on that too. Usually lighters is cheaper, but we always go where we can go. Where we're Easiest closest. to get to, yeah. yeah. Closest. Well, it makes sense. I mean, yeah, we're not going to run low on 36. Right. Yeah. been running low on stone. Not gravel, but stone. Have it. 57, and that's great. So the notice for bids is seven days. Okay, then we're good. We can get it in the paper next week and then we can open the sealed bids at our next meeting. <clears throat> All right, good. Sorry, I, I, 21 didn't sound, had to look. Well, I, I, 21, I, I think the school system uh, through the 21? Department of Educa Education has to do 21 days uh, for certain things, uh, different procurement. Mm -hmm. And I, so I don't, that's the only place I can think of where that 21 came in. All right. Uh, and these, these are both for crushed stone. This doesn't say anything about asphalt on there. One's for delivery and one is for pickup. Okay. Okay. Price is low. But, but so add it. No, I don't have asphalt on there, so add that on there. You'd have to make a different one. Yes, it will be because it won't be stone. So oh, good. Nugent or lighter food would have to be. This would be those guys, and yeah. the asphalt would be OVA or Hinkles, however that is. And who was the one? 
little, little paving. We, we've been buying some mix from them. They're right there on the Gene Snyder Freeway. Yeah, that was road. another one that bid last year. And they were, they were actually a lot cheaper than everybody else, and it's really not that further, much further a drive. They was a, somebody was <coughs> supposed to be opening a plant up there at Oldham County Stone, and I don't remember whose plant it was. It might be Hinkle's plant also. All right. Uh, so can I get a motion to go ahead and make this advertisement for the asphalt and the crushed stone in culverts? JD. Yes, I'll make a motion. To Thanks, JD. Advertise it. Second. All right. Thank you, Kenny. Any more discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And uh, now the, the concrete blocks. I haven't, I haven't got a deal done it's yet mine, with the fair. But they wanted some of them to build up that. Uh, like the big ones. Yeah, like, like I six footers, I think. Yeah, yeah, big ones. I and I had them, and uh, and also I think. Um, Cersei's. Yeah, well, Cersei said something he wanted to get rid of. I think. Yeah, we got some from him. Yeah. But uh, uh, the plan out here is advanced, all state advanced uh, now. Is it? it used to be pierced, but advanced yeah. had bought them out. And okay. I think we've gotten some from them some from in the past that. also. Mm -hmm. uh, they call it concrete blocks. What'd you say? Advanced, Kenny? Yeah. Is that in Pendleton? Uh, it's Campbell Campbellsburg, Campbell's address. Campbell's it's right past where they have the PAL auction at, you know. Leeport Road area. Carmel Creek. Carmel Creek. Carmel Creek. Yes, I know what you're talking about. This side. Uh, all right. Where the fair is wanting to uh, change up the demolition derby thing, and then have that 300 foot track to race, and they race tractors and trailers, and I don't know what all they race. Four wheeler. Yeah, it's you a bunch of stuff back, uh, back Billy's here by building. Billy's place. Okay. Yeah, and the road guys have been out there working on it and getting a nice track ready. Uh, but we need some more concrete blocks. I don't know if uh, <clears throat> somebody tell me Bobby Parker was putting in a concrete plant down there close to Nugent. I don't know if he's got it up and running yet or not. And, okay. And, and I don't know whether he's got the forms to put the blocks, big, build the blocks or not. Yeah, build those big ones. <laughs> How many blocks are you talking? Uh, you know, I don't even know a number on them, Kirby. Well, I think, I mean, we can always use them ourselves. That's what Mike said. Mike said we can, whatever, they can use them during the fair and then we can use them all the rest of the year. We had that big flood here three years ago <clears throat> and don't tell them how many of them we lost. We had them lining down on the... Coopers? Uh, no, down to Kidwell Pike. Oh. And Man, they was yeah. gone. I yeah. mean, that water's you would think the uh, two-ton block wouldn't get up and float away, think, yeah. but they sure do. Oh, yeah. We don't get the ones that, that you bolt, do you, that you put the pin <laughs> through? I know they've been you just got a keyway in yeah. them and they kind of <clears throat> interlock together. Yeah. Some of them got the roof, kind of. The big bolts you put through. Mm -hmm. and those are better, I think. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really have a number to give you. 100, 200. I know Mike said they're. Well, like, they want to go the whole length of the track. I, I'm not 100 percent sure where, how how far they want to go. Okay. I know they're wanting to widen the demolition derby thing. Okay. Then they're going to need rocks for that, or There's at least a, these blocks. They have guardrail around that one right now, don't they? Yeah. Enter guardrail. Yeah. And it's narrow. Yeah. I, I get it. Do we want to approve up to so many? How much? How much are one of them? We don't know that yet either. They, well, they vary in prices. You know, different different companies. Right. I know. My, uh, probably in March, we put probably what fifteen or twenty down on Cooper's bottom there at one yeah. spot. Yeah, that looks very good. Too. Yeah, yeah, they, they done real good. But I can't remember the price of what Mike said he gave them right. right off the top of my head. So. I can't remember what they are. I'm going to text him and ask him yeah, see if he's got Mike, a number. Mike, have a, you, you haven't seen them. I, I was going to, do, do you know who we got them from? And I might be able to find the, find the invoice. 
It seemed like it's somebody over Crestwood or Olden Counties or someplace over like mm -hmm. that. that I, <coughs> I, think, I don't know about this year, but in previous years, I think we've gotten some from Advance. Okay. When Stick, Stick was working. Yeah. For yeah, he had a kind of inside track there. Did you say advance? Yes. Or Pierce, maybe. That's what they used to be called, right? Pierce? Yeah. All state? Yeah, all state. <laughs> allied? Yeah, maybe. Be allied, even. Here's, here's all state ready mix, would that be? Yep. Mm -hmm. Look through that and see. I don't know. Y'all had a better idea of what, what I'd be looking for. What was the other one? Providence, no? Uh, Pierce. 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 Yeah, a place to store them if you put them out there if you order extra. <coughs> right, mm -hmm. it would be a great place to keep. Big storm park, I mean, yeah, like you said. Yeah, they're, they're not going to go steal them. Yeah, they're yeah. 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 driving away with them. Nobody's going to load them up. I do know they use, when they mix too much, they have the forms there, they just go ahead and pour an extra two or oh. three of them, set them out. So, you know, you may take delivery, say we want delivery from now until the right. fire. It's just a, right. So. Does that look like anything? No, just a pour. Mm -hmm. I can go back and look and see what we've, it wouldn't have a breakdown. Mike might have a general idea. Yeah, I texted him and asked him what, how much of those blocks. Well, we'll get into the meat of this. Uh, Can we come back? Yeah, that yeah, we should. Wait on him. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll see what he says. Because he will respond. Uh, <coughs> this is administrative code business. Uh, before we get into that, look at that Keiko thing. Oh. That. The uh, Keiko loss and uh, loss control guy was in here today, and he was showing me this report that he had wrote up based on his inspection from last year. And there's there's just some procedural things, some policy things uh, that we need to be looking at to add. If you look through the recommendations, and I'm I'm sorry I started making notes on it before I made copies, so I. I stopped making notes and made copies. Uh, but there's several, and Mike's already, from the road department, has already got his copy of the road department recommendations. And then we have, of course, we have the general government, which would include the park or any other thing that the county owns. Uh, but I think. JD, we were at that last Keiko thing and they talked about that safety committee or something. Yes, you can ask him to come and yes. you know, meet with them. And and I think we need to do that. Uh, somehow formulate that into our, I don't know if we put that in our administrative code, uh, but our, our uh, gosh, I don't remember what the real word is, it's our EMOD number, is 1.6. So we're averaging about one person getting hurt a year, one employee. and. Are they preventable? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, there's all kinds of recommendations here as far as safety goes that we, I think we really need to look at. And the sheriff, you see his is in there too. He's got his copy, so that's uh, that's on him to be looking at that. But the road department stuff, uh, Mike was gonna get to work on that right away. But this, this thing came out, I think, last March. Yeah, the report was done in March. And he just brought it by here today. And We had a company who used to come in here to do fire extinguishers. Well, okay, we still do. And what what he's what this guy's talking about is uh, if you fit that tag over, you know where they punch a hole in it? Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the company. I know what you're talking about. They punch a hole in it. But then you flip the cart over, and there's a place for initials, or somebody is checking the hose, checking the gauge, uh, checking to make sure that uh, little uh, zip tie has not been broken. Same every, guy. Every, yeah, every month. Yeah, but every month we need to do that. That's an internal thing. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, that's I why I was making it. We have them once a year. 
Yes, the main. We got our own train to do. Yeah, like you said, just to go through once a year, or I mean once Once a month, month just to check. Yeah, sure, they're not been charged or. And I think that's something that I uh, Bruce can do when he's making his rounds. And I still don't have a job description on Bruce. It's hard to hard to nail down what what exactly he does because he does so many things. I can see Bruce doing it here, maybe that's where he's at, but it's really designated a guy at the road department to do it there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody's EMS to do yeah, it there. And, and do there. it there, yeah. Yeah. And Bruce took care of this building and the uh, PDA office. And the courthouse and, and the senior the building. Yeah. So well, for maybe even Billy could do out at the park. At the park, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the well, concession like stands, that. he could take care of those. But as long as somebody's initialing that they Check, you know, the gauges, the zip tie, the the hose. Make sure there's nothing, nothing pushed up in the hose. Then turn the extinguisher. The guy was explaining to me. Yeah. Turn the extinguisher upside down and hit the bottom. Make sure that it's not uh, that that powder hasn't all stuck to the bottom. But anything we can do to comply. I mean, there's a lot of recommendations here. Yeah. So I thought I'd pass that along to you all to. Give you something to be thinking about and looking at. And I, the EMS will, I believe, teaches that class. McCoy for the EMS people. Uh, he's in training today, so I didn't bother to ask him, but, but I remembered him talking about it, uh, defensive training. And they have they don't have very many recommendations, so that's that's great. Animal shelter. Uh, there's eight of them. And I don't have my glasses, guys, so I'm not seeing uh, as good as I'd like to. So going forward on our administrative code, I'm thinking we might want to take some time to put something like this in there. Yeah, add, add a few things based on the recommendations from CACO, uh -huh. or the loss uh, a lot control of pretty easy to, you know, to include. Right. Procedure. One of the things that uh, stood out to me was, uh, uh, oh shoot, <laughs> extension cords and stuff out there at the road barn. Uh, so we, we may end up be looking for more electrical work to go on out there. There's an inspection on the extension cord. You check them out down there. Do you like? This month would be blue. <clears throat> Put blue tape on it, and next time you get red, whatever. Right. That shows they've been inspected. Yeah, that shows they've been inspected. Yeah. The the most the time you end up. You got the better off things on. Right. Well, and most right. time you end up throwing away a bunch of extension cords because if they got one little nick in them, and oh yeah, been like start put on or, or spark anything paint. like that. Yeah. They fail inspection. So. Mike has not come back yet. Is the office door open? Yeah. Okay. Let me go in there and see if, see I if can you can find, find anything. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll look on the computer. I didn't think the door was open. Yeah, I think we're Unless one of the guys locked it. You got no, it. Okay. Have, he yeah, purchased any. You he purchased them for a uh, bottom, I believe, in March. You got stick in March? The concrete box. Okay. Yeah, but he don't ever And you think it was Pierce or Austin? <laughs> no, no, no. It, I don't believe it was. It seemed to me like somebody from Crestwood is where he said they went and picked them up. Let me. You can call IMI right quick and they'll give you a price on them. Well, there you go. Yeah. I mean, they're going to ball house. I mean, with. Have I given everybody this attendance policy thing? Mm -hmm. This is really one of the big things we need in this administrative code. It, this is, is all news. It, it is. It's not in, none of it's in it's there. I couldn't find. I thought I, I didn't know if I was missing a page or what. But this is just all new yeah. stuff. Okay. And to be honest, I copied it from Vanderbilt University. I, that was the best attendance policy I come off with. Chris and I looked at several, and uh, but then when I found this one, I liked it the best because of the uh, that little chart that I made on the back. We have road guys. Yeah, we have road guys that are 
couple of them are their attendance is kind of shaky. We have EMS mm -hmm. people; their attendance is kind of shaky. Are the at Dallas Road Barn? Are they clocking in and out like yeah. they're supposed to? Yeah. Okay. Do they come back to the barn to eat lunch? I don't think so. I think it depends on where they're working, Kenny. Because yeah, I know it says something about you know they have to clock in and out for lunch, and I thought, well, man, if they're right, only if working, they're yeah, yeah if they're they coming all the way back to the barn to eat. Yeah. The time they get back to the job, and then the time get come back in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it can be a problem. Done, so. Yeah, it can be a problem if they're down on Cooper's. So the time clocks will just be at the road barn and at uh, the ZMS. Do they clock in and out, or no? I don't they think don't they do. Know. Is that yeah. the only place we've got a time clock? It's road road department. Talk about this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the agenda. I like the overtime. I know I was yes, I do. On the hours of work page, guys. Herb was talking about the overtime. Mm -hmm. The the only problem we run into on that by saying without approval of fiscal court is if there's a tree down. Of course, it says unless there's an emergency. We know that's an emergency. That's, that's what I'm saying. But I thought I, the overtime was. Over the 250, then fiscal court. If you're under the 250, why would we care? Right. But this is just that 40 hour thing, though. That's comp time. Is that where you're, you're talking about overtime, Kirby? Yes. I'm okay. Right. Oh, just overtime? This. Yeah. I'm talking about overtime. I know an emergency, what you got to do. I mean, it's not being a smart, I mean, if a truckload of dogs turned over, you know, it's going right. to be a overtime for that right. guy. Four state cops call yeah, them that's out. that's right. Anything yeah. like that. But we just need to, and I'm not taking enough away from you, and we just need a little bit more control on the overtime. Yeah. Well, and I'll tell you what, after our meeting Monday, I think it was Monday, I talked to the people who were getting the overtime. There's no more. Yeah. Well, I guess we need to have it in. <clears throat> Do we need to put it in this administrative code? No more overtime unless it's emergency. Yeah, and that's what it says, yeah, unless it it's an emergency. And and then, and this would be on my part, to make sure to let you know yeah. why, yeah. you know, they're working the overtime, if, if that should come up. Yeah. But yeah, with the yeah. roads, we yeah. don't know. Yeah. You never know about any department of it. Right. Yeah, oh, well, but like yeah. Bruce, yeah. Bruce should never have overtime. Do we have, uh, are we going to have that work? Will for example, if he's in the meeting from six o'clock or four o'clock in the evening to eight o'clock, can he take the time off tomorrow? Yeah, man. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I believe so. I believe he should. I, I do too. I mean, that keeps us overtime completely. Yeah, and same way with Andrew. Yeah, and any of those guys. All of us, you it's know. It's not really it. knocking them. It's just no. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it that but way. But we're using a lot of overtime, a lot of money on overtime. We should see a big difference. On the next period, period, not this one, but next one. On uh, where, where you've added this line in overtime, is, is that really, you think that's really necessary? I mean, it's kind of taking the same thing over again. Where at, Kenny? Uh, where <coughs> overtime. It oh, says, yes, it is redundant. And then it says, it is redundant. unless there's an emergency, and it's already said in emergency. So yeah, yeah, you can take that, we can that, take that whole line out. I, and, that last line. I just didn't see a need for it to be in there. So, so really, that sometimes would, I get typing, Kenny, and I, <laughs> yeah, all the letters start running together. And you want to make sure they yeah. understand. Yes, yes. <laughs> and on okay, and on comp time, JD, you were talking about the 250 hours. Yes. I really believe they should be taken off work. They should. You know, like in our in the original administrative code, it talks about <coughs> something about it's intended for their retirement or something like that. There, there's a page in the back of this that does say that yeah. that's when they get it. That's where their comp time. time is for. Yeah, and I don't really care for that at all. I think they ought to, that ought to be time that if they're working overtime and not taking overtime pay, and they so they accrue comp time, that should be holidays, vacation, they should take off 
uh, what I mean by that. They shouldn't, uh, I don't know, I guess they could bank it if they get sick or something, you know, and there's where we got the 250 hour cushion. Sure. But we also, we're, we're not following our code out there at the ambulance, and I don't care. We can change the code to match that. But right. you're allowing them to take comp time, not you, but we are allowing them to take comp time, yeah. and we're allowing them to take overtime. Right. And it really says in here that it's one or the other, basically. It has to be one or the other. But we also got to make sure, because I think we messed up, when you accrue your comp time, it says it accrues at one and a half hours. Yeah. So if you take off one hour, you get an hour and a half. So is it an hour and a half, is it 250 of the hour and a half, or is it 250 of All together. the single hour? Good, good thing to clarify. We, we need to make sure that we, we know how they're doing it. And uh, I was talking to Regina about fiscal soft, because I see in there there's rooms for this. Yeah. Well, I, would, I want to see a calculation of their comp time on the wage statement. Yeah. And we can do that every time. And that way we will know if... Every time. Every time, and we know where everybody stands. Sick days, vacation days. Keeps it up to year so, to So day. you're saying if they've got 100 hours comp time, that's really 150 because it's at time and one half. Well, I don't know how they accumulate it. I've seen Unless on this one got, guy write it down as an hour and a half. And so then it's 250 at the time and a half the way state police do it. You accrue it, you accrue it because it's overtime. You still get a time hour and a half. half. So if, I'm, if I work 40 hours a week, then I accrue anything over that a time and a half. But when you take it, you take off an hour, an hour at a time. An hour for an hour. Yeah, an so. hour for an hour. So you accrue it faster than what you take off, but because you're getting, because you're basically getting paid, compensated time and a half. Okay. So two, two hours overtime, I would write down three hours cop time. Three hours cop time. Okay. Yeah. As long as yeah. it says that in here. Right. Then, and, then, and that's what it says, that, uh, uh, one and a half times the actual hours work. Mm -hmm. So that means when they get paid back on it, it's only straight time. Right. It's not time and a half. It's straight time when you take your comp time. Right. But we also need to have a list of who gets comp time and who gets not. And if our ambulance service, if they want both of them, we need to write that in there. Yeah, and that, that's what I, on the back page of it. Yeah. There's a little bit of language in there about ambulance service okay. workers may be paid so many hours comp time, so many hours uh, to store or for overtime. Our, our our code doesn't reflect that, so we right. don't have to make that change. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this is that. So we need need some language to uh, to explain uh, the accrual of comp time. Mm -hmm. And and how it's. Uh, Say spent, but used, used up. Sure, cool. Example. No, it, 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 how it's used, it says it has to be approved by the department head and the county judge. Yeah. So you got to have approval of two people before you can use it. Yeah. And, and I think that's pretty well defined. I think so, and and I really, you know, the department heads they have to know for scheduling. No, right, right. So I guess. Uh, adding that extra in there is if the department head doesn't want to let them take off, they can blame it on me. Hmm. If they will, they can't get it scheduled, you know, they can't get it covered. Well, as Master Jones was saying, though, during that investigation, I discovered that they were, what was it on the vacation, on the comp time or the vacation time? It showed what they had, but it never showed what they were taking off. So, it never decreased any, right. so it just, I think that was And, and he got paid time and a half <laughs> on the, yeah, for, the whole, for the whole hour, yeah, right. Straight down, but uh, I think it'd be a good thing, you know, if you accrued five hours this week, then you had 200 or you had 100 hours last week on the last paycheck, you accrued five hours of comp time, you should say 105 on the next one. Yeah, or, we took five or vice versa. And you should right. see it on your check, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure it's in that software that, that they use. Surely. But it's just figuring out how to get it yeah. on there, because when I was doing that investigation, it was not like that. Oh, no, it was awful. <laughs> it was, it yeah. Was, yeah. Handwritten. Yeah, yeah, we still don't know yeah. who's got what. Right. Yeah. And I'd hate to say everybody here at zero. <laughs> you know, yeah. that, that wouldn't be cool. <laughs> no. But at the same time, we're going to go by the honor. So if we get up to 250, yeah, right. You, you're, we see it. You, they say they're 240, and 
Yeah. You know, you're getting close to the you start planning you get two two days off. You're going to have to start planning. Right? And I think the state makes them take off like 40, 40 hours. That block. I would always make, if they got up over 200 hours, they'd get it. If they, I'd say schedule you a vacation. If they didn't do a vacation, then I'd schedule them a vacation. Okay. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that all, that also, like 50, but that means they pay out 50 hours overtime. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that's also saying about well, everybody saving their time till November, December. We want everybody working because they're using all their that's true. time. So. That's true. But it still has to be approved by the department. It's right. Yeah, it still has to go right. through two people. Yeah, and the judge. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. You got to go through two. What did you find, of course? Was it Ernst? Does that sound yeah, familiar? That could be right. Yeah. Um, that was in March. <laughs> Let's see. And it's concrete block. That's and here are the. That's about the same time. That's about the time you mm -hmm. needed them. That's they the closest I could find. Claims at two hundred and fifty-four. What were they about? Six bucks a piece? Eight bucks? And would that be the price of them in a piece right there? Maybe. Does that sound all right? Yeah, they don't say. Twenty. Quantity was twenty-two, dollars mm -hmm. So about thirty bucks. Does that sound about right, or is this something I, I can go back and look further? If you I would thought they'd done more than that, but they did not. You know, I mean, they they they've got at least yard this is concrete. Eight, so. eight for two hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's thirty dollars a piece. Yeah, thirty dollars a piece. Probably more yards concrete in the yeah, probably. That sounds cheap. It just says concrete right. block, yeah. so I don't know if it's the big concrete block. Oh, yeah. That's probably them. Man. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you Some of them are different sizes. They're I mean, six some foot. Some of them are flat yeah. ones. Four footers. Let's see. Dimensions. I'll tell you, if, it's, if we're going to use them out there at the park, we might contact one of these road contractors and see if they have any of the barricades that they use on highways, and they're... 10 to 12 foot long and you know you don't have to stack them you just you just who, who do you talk to the ronnie um or some way ronnie might be able to give you a contact but, but uh somebody like uh global paving or, yeah, uh, paving when they, they or uh, all time. whoever does our work here in the county would know mac construction uh B, &B paving but anytime they do a job on the interstate, you'll you'll see them line them down through there. Oh yeah, and, and then they just get rid of them, don't they? Well, sometimes they they try to stockpile them somewhere for the next job, but but if they can get rid of them, they'll get rid of them. So still a little bit. They want them before the fair. Ask them to. Fair's what the seventeenth week of. It is. Yeah, June seventeenth through twenty uh, seventh. Mm -hmm. So we need kind of say we need right, and, and he's got some out there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not an issue. I Actually, think he I think he got some from Searcy's. Hinkle or uh, Ohio Valley, whatever they're called now, they might actually have some down yeah. there too. You know, so. I think Searcy had some. Yeah, we got some from Searcy. Here, wherever we go. I think I think Searcy was the only one that had any had any ready when Mike was calling around about them. All right, uh, so with the administrative code thing, uh, we have to do this by ordinance. Uh, an amendment, I think, is what, what you're going to call this. And uh, these two things are the big two things that I saw st that really stood out that needed to be tweaked on. Did you guys see any anything else that was... Well, when, uh, they, when they get into the job descriptions, yes. the pay rates, we need to change. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Update them to what, what's current. So. There, and there's a new road employee uh, that came in here and, and said that, uh, that he makes $15 an hour. And, uh, At the county barn? Yeah. And I told him I didn't think so, uh, but I would ask fiscal court. Because he said it was one of the magistrates told him that. Uh, he's got his CDL A's, whatever they are. It's uh, Doug Temple, Chris. And you know, he, 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 I seen he said you, you told him it was 15 bucks an hour. I didn't tell him that. No, okay. He told me what he was making. 
And I said, I'd have to see what, I don't even like, I don't even know what class A, class Well, that's class the most C, you can I, get. I don't know what our, from what I understand, I that's the most you can get. It, well, ten fifty is a starting pay, yeah. and eleven fifty if you have your CDL, right. mm -hmm. or if you get them, because mm -hmm. some guys start with none and they go get. He them. told me he needed fourteen dollars there. That's the only thing we talked about. No kidding. Well, we uh, we run into that uh, a couple of years ago, and it don't matter if that's what they got to have. You don't just say well, we're going to pay you that. Right. It's not fair to the other guys. That are right. Out there, right. You know. No. No. Because we got basically say here's what the job pays if you yes, want. Yes. If you want to take it. Yeah. And do, we, do we have somewhere with like a pay rate? like On the road department people? Yeah. yeah. Like here's where you are. When and you the, start and like in. Kenny said, that, that's an area that, that needs to be worked on. Here's these, where you are when you start in. And if you get your class A, B, C's, whatever. Class B's all of those. And, and two years ago, us, we, we actually right. raised the road yeah, department up yeah. a dollar right. an hour above their raise. We did that. Right, if they get uh, their CDLs. Mid year. No, we did that mid year. We raised everybody up a dollar. Okay. Because we was having a hard time getting people to stay. Keeping out. Yeah, and that time makes sense. people to apply. So, yeah, that's a you know, turnover rate. Yeah, I mean, it could be worth it. And one they did the same thing at EMS. When it's six, when it's six months to get your CDLs to go on up if you want to go higher? I'm not sure if there's a time limit in there or not. Well, I, I, I was thinking there's a after six months you had your CDLs you went on up. That would probably uh, fit into this administrative code where you're temporary for the first six months until mm -hmm. that time and that's when you start receiving your... Yeah, Mike did text back. <laughs> they need your CDLs. Yeah. He was saying 50 bucks a piece, so... Right. Yeah, so we see some other... That's right, still, that's, that's a lot cheaper than what I thought they was going yeah, to be. Me too. But we yeah. don't have an estimate on how many we're going to we do not. There. Yeah, we do not. Uh, so we can... Is that 50 bucks a piece? Yeah. I hate to say how, well, they got, well, they wanted to line the whole track He said it. Le Mans in Louisville has them 25 bucks a piece. But he, he said it's a uh, round trip to Louisville, you know, but they're 25 bucks a piece. I'm asking him how many we need for the park. We probably have them shipped up here. I, that's what I was going to say. Delivered. If, if we have to get a, a large quantity of them, because I don't think we can haul the what four or six yeah, on the boat. Not many. We get old boy and bring them up here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not many. All right. So we just hold off on this. Yeah, you getting into that on this uh, administrative bill? I mean, yeah. If somebody hires in, they ought to know what they're making. Yeah. Because that's when I talked to Sam. He was like, I didn't know I was going to bring them. Right. No, I'm. I'm sure Mike told you. Yeah, I'm sure so. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe you. We well, would make it right. Uh, yeah. More than anybody, Mike and the assistant out there. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So what I think, we, Randy. If we're if we're going to look at it, we need to. Here's where if we're going to put that in the code in the job descriptions. Yes. For the year 2019-2020, here are the pay rates. Right. Do that at the ambulance. Do it at the road. Yeah, well, in, in every one of these, the job descriptions that we do have. Yeah, they're shaped. They all have pay ranges. Yeah. And that's like Kenny said, we do need to fix that because yeah. these are not well, right. Let's do that. Like our EM director it says he's gonna make five to fifteen thousand a year. <clears throat> right. But I think we're on pace to pay him by forty three thousand. Right. That sound about right? That sounds about right, yeah. I can go look if you want me to know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, he's salary. Copy of budget and tells you in that. Oh, what the heads of the department's making. I right. get this confused too. The PM stuff. The PMS and EMA. Yeah. And the biggest part of you know his job is preparedness, getting prepared. What's that? Uh, EM director. Oh yeah. That's the biggest part of that job. I I went to that uh, that training they had a couple weeks ago, and that's what they kept saying. The biggest part of this is preparing for disaster or not. Preparing no. for what you hope don't happen. That's it. 
Yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Yeah. So do we want to put the EM, his salary at... Uh, I think we need to go through every one of them. Well, I, well, well this is one I started at because the first... Mine starts at the deputy judge. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Bring it both. Yeah. Mine starts at deputy judge. Yeah, that's where mine is. <laughs> And I know we, we already talked about, you know, salaries and stuff at the beginning of the year, but we still probably need to be pretty close to that. Yeah. Deputy yeah. Judge ain't off too awful far because she's under fifteen dollars an hour, so that would be right like fourteen thirty thirty thousand, a little over thirty thousand. Probably. So. so if we're paying her hourly, should this be hourly? And and I think it should be hourly. That's what well, I would say. Right. Right. Yeah. Be yeah. right. Instead of you saying by the year, just we could say fourteen to sixteen bucks an hour. And that because we or have we have whatever. discussions that we cannot say, okay, this is what we started out the new one at. Yeah. If we have this range. Yeah. And when somebody comes in new well, sixteen's the top, it says you start out at eleven. Yeah. Right. You know, and that way if we have it here we can say that's why we're starting you there. Yes. That's where we started the last one. Yes. So I think that one should be hourly. But I think uh, is that not a salary not position though? Crystal, it's not uh, it, Does it say there exempt, non exempt? It does and it says overtime unless it's on the back. No, yeah. it's on the With back. approval of county goods. It doesn't say whether it's exempt or non exempt. It says it exempt up here at the top. And okay. at the bottom. So yeah. exempt. Yeah. From salary. That means they are they are entitled to overtime if they work it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And, and that that exempt non-exempt thing is a, is a uh, is a tricky thing because you have to make so much so much money and then you have to have certain responsibilities like supervising people or hiring and firing people. Yeah. Uh, and it's so it's kind of tricky, but we, I think the statute requires us to put that in there, exempt or non-exempt. Does that sound right, Crystal? I'm sorry, say that again. I'm still looking on the front page. Uh, the statute requires us to put exempt or non exempt for what? Does it require us to put to classify people as exempt or non exempt? From what specifically? For each job title. Uh, pay, pay. You go, it's almost to the very end of the thing where it tests it. And put the game page numbers on there. I'll check. It's way deep. You probably ain't back far enough yet. Um, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Clerk, treasurer, deputy, county judge, exec. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. All right, so where it says exempt. <clears throat> there's one at the top, Crystal, there's one at the bottom on that. Okay. And what's the difference between exempt and non exempt? I don't know. How does the code it's, identify it? Page uh, 13. <laughs> Yeah. And it talks about all county employees shall be declared either exempt or non-exempt under the provision of federal and state wages. There you go. Of the law. So it does require us to put it in yeah. there. And, and the difference is the non-exempt people do not get overtime. Well, you can be salary. Gotcha. Yeah. Salary exempt or salary, salary non-exempt. Non well, this yeah. says exempt employees shall not receive overtime pay. Because they receive comp. Well, then I have it backwards, Kenny. Okay. He says 86 down one side. 86 feet? Yeah, uh, 100 altogether. Let me see your page 13. 100 foot? 100 of those blocks. That's not page 100. And, <laughs> well, I mean, and I've been really talking to Linda Craig, see how much they want to pay for. Well, I had, that's where my questions were. Okay. $5,000. Yeah. Yeah, wish in one hand and yeah. spit in the other. Yeah. Under hours of work. Well, we use hours of work at. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, let me use right. other, other places. Down, other places, uh, yeah. About two thirds of the way yeah. down where it says yeah. all county employees shall. Let them walk, you know. Under right. Put them out there and leave them there and just leave them stored there until we need them and go right. get them. And that is great storage for them. Yeah. <laughs> and as we need them, we pull them out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not at the county barn because there's no room there. Yeah, so no. Can store them at the park. We just leave them, just leave them right there yeah. at the track. Yeah. 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 Even if you them. get extra, you can. Yeah, just pile them back there. 
I mean, 100 sounds like a they, lot, but once we start using that on the road, I... Right. You know, yeah, like you said, quick. that one place down on Cooper's was like 11 or 12 of them. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't look like it. No. But yeah, there was quite a few. And, and that's what <laughs> confuses me on this. It's ex exempt, shall not receive overtime pay, but shall receive comp time. And then when you go to the job description, it says overtime provisions with approval from county judge. Mm -hmm. So it kind of contradicts itself. Yep. Can we take that out and just it would be approved by the county judge? Can you take that first one out, Kenny? It's for when it talks about what exempt is. Yeah. Well, see, I think this is, is this. And I'm sure Kip to help put this together, this document. So I'm I'm sure they pulled that off the federal. That's what it wage says, laws. Yeah. you know. So so this is federal and state wage law and wage and our law. So I don't think. We can we, change that. Yeah, no, we want to keep that. Right. But right here, she's, well, this employee's actually paid yeah, hourly and non exempt. Yeah. Yeah. Non exempt. But shows this exempt. Poster and, we got and, yeah. required to put up. So we need to change both of those status yeah. and range. Right. Right. That's what, we, that's what we want to do, right? Yeah. Change, so. change the status and the pay range. We're still in the first one, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Call that non-exempt. Non-exempt, and then the hour. I mean, what, what, what we we're doing right now is she's getting her, her forty hours and her overtime. Right. So she's not really meeting the exempt part of it, so she'd have to be non-exempt then. Yeah. Exactly. I'm waiting on Crystal to weigh in on this and say, you're all wrong. No, I'm following you, and, and <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So if you if you want her to be non-exempt. Um, then she can receive overtime at but, the rate of one and one. But with non exempt, don't you have to be a supervisor? I guess she kind of is. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It just depends on what she's you hourly. want to call her. She's hourly. Yeah, she's hourly. Yeah, she's, she's hourly. Yeah, she's she's hourly uh, paid, paid by the hourly hour. supervisory. So. Yeah. But your non exempt is like your ambulance service director. Right. Well, your county county road worker system. is non exempt. And and they get overtime, so and there you go. They're not. So exempt means they do not get overtime. Yeah. Exempt. And non-exempt means they can get overtime. Right. We've established that now, right? Yeah. <laughs> we say it enough, we'll have it down. But it's tricky. <coughs> not exempt to get overtime. I yeah. know that for a fact. There you go. There you go. All right. So uh, what are we going to do? The pay range there. Which, do you remember what we started her at? Fourteen fifty-eight. There you go. Or just call it 14 even. For starter. You can. You can. I mean, because yeah. of the next, you know, next person coming yeah. on. And, and the top out. I guess how often do we want to do this? It says we're supposed to do it every year, but mm -hmm. I mean, it hadn't been, it's been eight years. Well, once we get it like this and you get it on Word documents back here and yeah. make this thing soft that we can change it all the time yes that would be, yeah. be so nice it, it would be so quick yeah mm -hmm. so we can go 14 to 16 yeah and that gives cushion for raises all right and so so you we're going to also change it to non-exempt yes that would, yeah so non-exempt you get overtime you can but you can you don't have right to now Everybody's on overtime freeze. I made that abundantly clear with the ones you weren't getting. All right, now we're on county treasurer, and it's it's got uh, it again. Administrative it, it, assistance, what I got next. Oh, well, I missed that one. I don't have that page. Administrative assistance. It's on the back of the other one. And it says. Yeah, I don't have it. You have a copy of yeah, if you got administrative assistant, yeah. And it, it's got the pay range from 10 to 12 and... We're at 11. Yeah, we're not that far off. We can we keep, keep it, it Keep it yeah. exactly as is. That would be less than that. Thing. Is there anything in the job descriptions you see that needs to be tweaked a little bit? part-time full-time or anything like that or no, no I don't think it 
does. I think it's. Uh, and there looks pretty good then, though. Yeah. yeah. Good on that one. Yeah. All right. Now the treasure, then it's got it goes back to the year thing. Mm -hmm. I believe that one is, ain't it? No, she's paid by the hour. She does time sheets and turns in time sheets every week. Okay. So we'll wait for her. Though. She's 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 salary. Salary, isn't she? Well, she fills out time sheets, and I think we pay her by the hour. And I thought okay. she was salary, but yeah, well. I thought it was salary too. I I did too. Based on this, I thought that. Well, we'll, just, we'll wait for. Her. Well, let's go yeah. to the next one while we wait on Regina. Mm -hmm. uh, fiscal court clerk, and I know we, Susan, that's you. We pay mm -hmm. you by the hour, don't we? You do time sheets, or mm -hmm. I don't. She's okay. pay salary as well, don't I? Mm -hmm. Same check every week. Yeah. Right. Okay. Other well, than there, your salary right. <laughs> is it between the range of <laughs> three and seven? I think. It's a little low. Well, These are numbers number. are low, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Do you remember what you started at? You've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started very low. Yeah. Very low when I started. Yeah, yeah, we could leave it there. We could do it as low as we want. Do you have uh, a Regina, copy you get hourly or you get paid by the hour. There you go. I, I know. It's hourly. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I see time sheets. Mm -hmm. Well, the auditors required time sheets. Where okay, you, yeah. so do we get it? Susan have to do time sheets too? Do you? I never have. You never have? Well, they always told me. I, the la Probably the last four years I had. Mm -hmm. No yeah, kidding. Mm -hmm. Do they get time time? Do they get time time? Well, if they go over 40. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because they're part time people. Oh, they're part time, yeah. and I don't see a reason. If they're full time, Salary, then if they can cut the top down, they don't need that as a time sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, somebody was asking me something. How about the time well, sheets? Well, and, and I thought you got paid by that. And the treasurer and the clerk are two different jobs. Mm -hmm. and there might be a reason the treasurer has to fill out the time sheets for the audit purposes or something. Yeah, because. That might be a good question for the auditor mm -hmm. when we do get in that situation again. but. So, what what are you showing at uh, the fiscal? Well, this is eighth to seventeen. Is that about right, Regina? Mm -hmm. On who? I think on yours. On me? Yeah, you're, uh, I think you're I'm over that. Sixteen to seven. Let me see what we have at sixteen eight twenty eight. That's what we have That's budgeted what? for this year. Yeah. Eighteen nineteen. So you you can change it, or you don't have to. Right, because it's in the range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Send it on down the road. Should we put on that one? Um, it's a four year. She has well, it generally is. Well, I mean, yeah, she it has generally to be, is. I mean, should we have it? Have to have it on there or not? Well, Administrative code. It's in KRS. I know, so but I mean, yeah. should we? Yeah. That's why I don't, I don't think, think you have to address. I didn't know you, it would be already automatically be up there for you, but no. You you could add a number five for job duties and responsibilities, um, and I can look up the statute section. But there's there's a whole section for county treasurer, mm -hmm. so any and all duties specified in there. Because if the statute changes before we update the administrative code, then right. it would be up to you to know what your duties are. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. That's what we got her here. Yeah. What did you say? Number five? Yeah. <clears throat> and what is the words again? Um, Crystal. K R S. Yeah. Like to say, you know, uh, in the job duties and responsibilities. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Item number five. Can you just put the KRS? Refer down? to. Mm -hmm. Refer to KRS. Yes. Um, all the all the duties and responsibilities set out in KRS 68.020. Okay. That make it a lot simpler to refer to KRS. It sure would be. I like it. All right. You done looking at that Yeah. All right. All right, now the, the fiscal court clerk, Susan, that's, you're, are you less than 7000 a year? No, I don't no. think so. No. We have it, well, 7076 that's what we have for the 
All right. Last year. For like mm -hmm, for this fiscal year. All right. So let's go pay range seven thousand to to eight thousand a year. Yeah, that work. It gives us room if we need to wait for any next. Mm -hmm. Uh, solid waste inspector. I think that number's good. No, this, this is Bruce's job, or no? This is Tina's. There is none for Bruce. Solid waste inspector. Unless she's a solid waste coordinator. Well, <laughs> wasn't she gonna do a new thing? Yes. Yes. Let's see next. Which slide? Coordinator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the next? In there, coordinator in there as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, but I well, I think in the budget we call it a coordinator. Yeah, and then we have solid waste <laughs> officer, and I, that's, and that's, that's Bruce. Bruce. Okay, that's in the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solid waste okay. Solid waste. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's in here. Okay. No, thank you. Yeah, that's the one that's hasn't been. Uh, what well, you got, Bruce? Yeah. Okay. Solid okay. waste okay. officer. Mm -hmm. So solid waste inspector is what he needs. Coordinator yeah. slash coordinator. Okay. Yeah, the budget has one thing, and this thing has another. Okay. Thing. So we're putting slashes. And I, and I think Bruce, you know, a large part of his job is not solid waste. It's, you know, going around fixing things. Yeah. So the solid waste inspector slash coordinator mm -hmm. salary. Custodian deal. For Bruce? Yeah. Yeah. Like a head it's custodian. Right now it's 24 to 40. It's like that next one. Oh, no, that's yeah. not it. But I did see custodian that'll in here. That'll get us through the year. Yeah, yeah that'd be yeah, that's what we put in next year's budget 40. You want to stick it there? Leave it there? I mean, that's where we got it right there. Yeah. Put down the maintenance coordinator for Bruce? Yeah. Yeah. Like a maintenance coordinator. Yeah, that would actually fit him better. Do you want to change that on the budget, you think? No. Oh, no just not okay. yet. We're just, okay. Our budget been sent off to the. Mm -hmm. I had. I was thinking about emailing him this afternoon, but I didn't get to it. Who do you email? He's Tom. Tom. Yeah. To see, he he emailed me two weeks ago and said he's received. It. Okay. Right. He's received 120 more. I was say, yeah, 120 or <laughs> so 19 more. Touch base yeah. with him. See if he has questions. Maintenance And he's on vacation this week, so I didn't get to talk with him yesterday or today. All right, so now let's go to dog warden. That's the part time. This is the part time guy. I thought like the dog warden was the uh, what they, was the animal control. It's animal control officer. Oh. Is that what the warden is? Yeah. No, dog yeah. warden. Well, you yeah. said dog warden on this one. I got. Right. And then this one, I got the other one's assistant. a kennel assistant. Mm -hmm. I don't think we all got the same book. I don't think we do either. I love both my own. They're both different. <laughs> that's all right. That's why we're here. That's why yeah, we're here. This is the budget. Oh, well, we, the budget you know, calls it the job is about the same. Or, yeah, the job is the same. So, uh, yeah, we we'll go with what the budget says. That's the other guy. Greg. Schwartz Craig. Miller. Craig. Mm -hmm. Craig is a kennel assistant, isn't he? Oh, no. Well, it depends on that, what you're yeah, looking at. Yeah. Oh, you need and what do we got under salary for the dog warden? I thought he was an officer. Thirty-one thousand nine fifty. So that's, that's what we that's had, but actual, that was budgeted. Full time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but his, his right now is what twelve dollars an hour. Right. But that, this is what we had for. That's what we budgeted for. Budgeted for. Budget for, for, okay. this, for yeah, this is for like when we did the budget last, last year. Last mm -hmm. year. Okay. That's not our current. This was for Russell. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the dog. Eight, 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 eight. I think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're scratching on ours. Yours says something different, guys, but ours says dog warden. We're going to call this animal control officer. Okay. And not exempt? Yes. Yours says exempt. Exempt and hourly. And then his, his hourly will go 12 bucks to 15. We got 10 to 15, so yeah, 12 to 15. Yeah. Uh, I think the. Now that's. The description is about right. When we say this stuff, I'm gonna make it clear. When it says 12 to 15, it could very well be 12 as it could be 15. And that, anywhere that, in between. The, anywhere yeah. in between. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not, well, they're giving the dog control guy 15. Right. He's a 12 
12 right. an hour, 12.50 right now. Yes, that's and that goes with the training yeah, and all these yeah. things that they exactly. do. Exactly. Had, had to get shots. And yeah, yes. So yes, it just got shots. Yeah. So he went through I got a step he could get more. Yeah, yeah. Serious shots. Uh, yeah. Voter machine custodian. I don't think we said. Well, I guess we kind of assistant. Did we do that one? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have it. Okay. So that's kennel assistant. Is uh, you want a copy? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, that one's Schwartz Miller. And it's non-exempt, eight to twelve. Yeah, he's at nine. So nine. And that's that's he's in range. We don't have that. I, I don't think so. What is it? Well, voting machine custodian. I think Bruce does that, don't he? Yeah, he does. Like he voting machines? Yeah, he, 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 he transports them. I know yeah. why. Yeah, that he does. So why wouldn't he be right? And I guess that could be included in his. There you go, Kirby. Uh, Can we still put him on what we Never mind, I gotta take it back from you. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> You, you just made one. I'm so I'm that fine, I'm Did fine. you need another coffee? We're still look at it. We're still looking at it. I'm not one to share it. Well, I, I just thought Chris didn't have coffee. I didn't know Kirby no, did. I'm, I'm not paying attention. You know, animal control. If I need to, I've, I've read them. Yeah. Or what, what is he called on the, on the budget? What's he called on the budget? Shorts Miller? Uh, animal control officer. And Jacob's the dog warden. Yeah, the dog on the budget. Okay, well, let's call him kennel assistant. But we don't have to worry about the budget. Okay. As long as we okay. know, as long as we all know the okay. difference. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 As long as we all know. Okay, all right. Well, leave a kennel or animal control assistant? Mm -hmm. Well, for right now, yeah, let's see. Just call him kennel assistant. Animal control officer. Yeah. 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 So that's what we're doing. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I got it so he is, uh, is the county, county judge. judge. Yep, he's not. So this is. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so the uh, this voting machine custodian guy, we know that's Bruce. Can we, we just put that in? And in we can put it in his in maintenance job coordinator. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, we can throw that together with Bruce. Put his little duties in there. I guess there's two copies of this DEM because we just looked at DEM, didn't we? Oh no, we did not. We were coming back to it because the pay range is five thousand to fifteen thousand a year. And he's currently making about forty-three. Forty-three-two. That's what we have for this year. Well, we put thirty to fifty or thirty to forty-five. Or, or that, I mean, twenty-five to thirty-five. Twenty-five to thirty-five. Well, if he's already making, I mean, I mean, I meant forty-five. Forty-five to forty-five. Yeah, I meant forty-five. I didn't. No, we got said that like twenty-five just to make you know, something. We get somebody give new. him raises. Well, right. I mean, and that's uh, he's making this because of all his qualifications right. and training. Mm -hmm. And if sure. you got to hire somebody brand new, you couldn't start them out right. at this no. rate because they got. So we're at twenty five to forty five on that. There's a lot of training he's got. Well, I mean, yeah, there, there is. is. He's, he's also a trainer. <laughs> he brought a lot to the table. The too, yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. We could add that part as training, training incentives. That you know, as he gets more training, the and I mean, he's already up there almost to the 45 anyway. You want to put that 45 up to 50? No, I believe we're at 45. Yeah. Okay, I mean, for the next guy or for uh, years down the road, we prefer revisit this year next year, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Right. All right. That says you're supposed, right. supposed to review it every year, okay? So we're in good shape on that one. Then. He didn't review it for the last four years, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, are we going to call him exempt? Yeah, because he gets called time. Does yeah. he fill out a time sheet or is he sound? Yeah, he does. He brings in and then we get reimbursed too for some of his time through the through the states. So some of his wages are paid mm -hmm. through okay. Kentucky Emergency Management. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what, what rate that is. So All right. Custodian. This is uh people who clean the courthouse, the people who 
uh, come in here and Porky and Allen. Yeah, Porky and Allen. And I think this pay range is about right for them. You got, we have got twenty one thousand five hundred for both of them. Yeah. What do you buy? You, you and I think they're like eleven bucks an hour. No. I think it's close, close to that. Twenty one thousand about. about. Well, they, they wouldn't work. They get about twenty hours a week, twenty two. Yeah. About ten, fifty. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Labor lay. Okay. They actually, should be non-exempt. And they should be non-exempt. Yeah. Well, they're part time. Oh. Yeah. So well, how do you label part time? That's the, we need. To, that's a good idea to put that in there. And same way with like Susan and Regina here to put uh, part time. Did you do it up here? Yeah. Is that their status? I don't know if you'd call it status or employment well, status. Well, actually, just put in parentheses part time right there. There by you go. Mm -hmm. Call them exempt so they don't get overtime. Are they really part time? Not to intervene, yeah. then I would be part time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they are what they are. But you don't do time sheets. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but your salary set by the state, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, hurt and hers did. Um, My salary is with the county, set by the county. Set by the county. Yeah. His is set by the state. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's about the state. Mm -hmm. Clerk is too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've seen it. They get the insurance? Part time is 29 hours, too. I do not. Right. I get so it's up to 30. It's 29 right. hours. Right. It is 30. Anything over 30 is full time. Full -time. She doesn't get insurance. I'd say if it ain't broke, I don't, don't fix it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. You know. Okay. So we we'll leave that alone. No County road there. supervisor. Because we're gonna have to buy a change. We know Mike's making like twenty bucks an hour. I don't get Yeah, it's it's up there. Twenty one, twenty twenty fifty eight or something like that. Right. Yeah, that might be right. Regina, what do you got the road supervisor? Oh, I'm sorry. Making? You're fine. Well, she's just seeing the whole salary. Yeah, but mm. yeah. 44 yeah. 926. Does he have that right there? Just the road supervisor. No, yes. Mm. You get that. 44 and 9. And I, I was talking to him about that. He said they have more trucks that, mm -hmm. that you don't need a CDL for. But that was probably yeah, saying that then we have drivers. Here, so that. We, yeah, we might right. That mm -hmm. But he doesn't have to drive any of those trucks. So I can remember what about $20 an hour for mm -hmm. some reason. Yeah, it is in there. In there, and I mean, he's you want me to go look? I'd be glad to go look and see yeah. what yeah. Mike is that. Yeah. We just need Mike. Well, I think we need the uh, Barry. Yeah. I think Barry. I think Mike's assistant. Yeah, assistant. Mike and Barry. Okay. If you can get to county road workers, <laughs> also, I don't know, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see what I can. That's true. That's true. Somebody breaks down. And you just want their hourly Yes. Somebody gets sick. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time to get it, but he just needs to go ahead. And, and the county pays for it. And knocks it out. We're missing your discussion. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. What What I'm saying is in that it says. We've moved on to county roads, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where I was talking is must possess a valid CDL license. I don't think he has one. That he does not. But I give my title, he should go ahead and get it. He, can, he cannot. Oh. He has health issues um, with his, something with his heart. Or oh, there was a reason he didn't get them, and I don't, I don't want to discuss it. You know, right. But yeah. but there's a reason he didn't get them. Okay. Just and that, that was discussed a couple of years ago. Pick that out. I mean, he really should have somebody else <clears throat> that can you know, drive it anyhow. Well, I I just well, he can drive the non-CDL. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. So we, we agreement. We're going to take that out. Must possess CDL. Right. The supervisor. Yeah. Only the supervisor. Yeah. Only, yeah. Only, yeah. The supervisor. only the supervisor. And the other ones can get it if yeah. they want. Yeah. And you have to have some with. Yes. And the assistant role. Yeah. I think we have three trucks. The, yeah, the language is in, in there for the assistant. The only <laughs> thing I had was not too long ago. I had a call. that said a guy. There's some out there don't have it. This guy had it, and he had to quit. What it, he was working with a piece of equipment, he had to quit to drive the truck. What he yeah, was doing I because there was nobody there with CDL license. 
That's what no, he's getting paid by the hour, though, right? No, it wasn't one that one of what he's getting paid by the hour. Nothing. It was just the idea he had to get out of what he was. He was running he the backhoe. Yeah, running the equipment. And he, he had to get out and go drive the, the truck switch. because the guy standing there didn't have a CDL. So that's he was so just they had to switch around a little bit. So how many now after doesn't have a CDL right now? I know a couple. I think right there's I head. think there's four that do, which is about half. Four or five. I well, think, well, it, I think if you're just say, if you're able to get them, you see to get them. It, it even says on county road worker must possess. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We're gonna have to be tightened up on that. Do we want to keep it in there? Or take it out. Well, right. take it out on the supervisor. The, can we change the terminology? What would we? Wait. How do you mean? Well, I, I'm not for sure how you can do that. But I don't think you're going to put health reasons on there, no. but with approved reasons from the judge. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, I mean, valid. Valid. I yeah. mean, you can't just choose not to. But as for somebody that just hires in, once you put down as a health a worker, provider, I think them working towards the CDL would be a requirement. Program. Would you do that under a health device? Uh, somebody would, like a doctor, would say, "Hey, he cannot have." I don't really want to get into that. I don't either. I'm just saying it. We'll just take it out on a supervisor. You could just do it on a case by case. So there you must go. possess yeah. valid that CDL right. license unless excused by the county judge. Exec. There you go. Well, the, the thing is, they, there's an incentive built in to get that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if when we advertise for the job, we could advertise for someone who possesses a CDL or is willing to get a CDL. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. And we, get, we got a couple of guys hire. that that were trying and uh, they quit going. Yeah, and they quit going. And <laughs> we even talked about even Barry teaching a class out there. You know, let if he has to sit there with them a couple of days, you know, to get them ready for it. Oh, like a tutoring? Yeah. Uh, okay. Barry. Uh, sure. Oh. Yeah. Is the fact they're just having trouble with the test or they can't actually I'm, I'm not sure. I, mean, oh, I think they can drive. Test. Yeah, I think they, they can drive. It's drug. just the, I think it's the the language of the test that they may have had some trouble with. So you have to take the first. You have to take the written. Then you have an air brakes test after that. Okay. And then you go down to Louisville. What I call it the old fairground. Now, right. I tell you. Then you might get in a truck with the, with the uh, guys giving it. You take the front end and tell me all about it. Then I could come next. He said, "Now you take it from the cab and go back." When I done mine down there, I had to make sure the weather, weather stripping around the door, the steps, the whole nine yards. I mean, it's you got to be in time with it. Well, I know several that failed before they even got in the truck. Yeah. So, yes. mm. Let's make it. Let's let's tighten up that description there. You know, we need it line by line. Okay, here's what. Well, that's what I put. Like what Crystal said there, must possess valid CDL okay. unless excused by CJE. Right. Okay. And then the wage thing. I think that needs to be out there. The wage, okay, if you, you hire in at X amount of dollars, once you receive your class C's, you can move up to this range. You get your B's, you move up to this range, you get your A's, you're, you have potential to move up to this wage. There's a lot of stuff looking at. The guy's got class CDL, but he only comes to work three days a week and misses, and you know, he ain't going to get no raise. Right. You know? Right. Well, and that's something else well, I'm working on is right. the employee well, evaluation. Yeah, yeah it's got this right penciled in here, and I don't know if it's true or not. It says CDL, dollar more. Class A, two dollars more. Class oh. B, dollar fifty more. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, something like uh, that. I, I mean, but. That, I don't know if you wrote that in here. No, I didn't. It's already in No, there. that's that's good. Yeah, well, then that goes think. back to that other guy who's got the A's. Yeah. Well, he's going to be. Well, and then, that's, that's and it, be he tall. could be making fifteen dollars an hour. Oh, he's making. Because he has A's. Yeah. If he's got the A's, that's worth two dollars more. So. so that's at least twelve fifty. I don't know what what his terms why was. When he hired we, in. Why should we have A's? Right. What oh, he, he came in here and, and told us what it was. That's a Well, I don't right. know what his, yeah. his terms was. <laughs> that's a, I, thought, I don't. I don't know what's hired. Why do you need that? I mean, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's tractor and trailer, or chemical and explosion, the whole nine yards. I don't know why we, a beach is what a dump truck. Yeah. And that's all we're going to have. Because we, and even if we did it, it but that's what I was thinking about something like that. Any, yeah. I mean, with, but. Yeah, Class A's got all the endorsements, so. Oh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's every one of them. So his pay range, we want to go starting at 18 and go to 22? Who's this? 
the road, road supervisor. Road supervisor. Yeah. I think that's 18 to 22 yeah. bucks an hour. That's where we're at now. That that, that. Yeah, that keeps us in that range. And the assistant. Yeah, an assistant. He's at 18 um, now. Uh, wow, I thought it was thunder. <laughs> uh, what do we want to go? 16 to to 20. Yeah, that would cover where we're at right now. Yeah. Yeah, and it has an error, and then we'll, we can put that language in there where it says must possess valid CDL. We can say unless excused. And then they're going to have to have medical reasons or something, you know. Well, yeah, some kind of good reason. You would, you would have, you would, you would put that in his record. Yeah, it would be in, a, in his file. Yeah, and both of them are, are exempt, are not exempt, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now we're just regular road worker. Just the director. Do you have director? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. What's the director? Oh, you're at the. You're, you're, you you don't have the county road worker page, do you? I don't think any book. I don't think there are three books. Are the same. I don't think they are either. The more I listen. Did you find it? Do you have assistant? Oh, you went to an ambulance director, didn't you? <laughs> How about that? I have some you don't. So you so have county worker? No, I do. I do have county road worker. She gave you county. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, I do. Have you considered getting one now? She's going to see I me get up. I <laughs> <laughs> so. so, yes. <laughs> All right, so road worker, do we want to go uh, uh, 1050 to... 16 bucks an hour? I think Regina went back to get what they're making now because, see, that's... If they're getting two dollars well, more, do we want to change that or? Well, they're, yeah, they're starting at ten fifty right now. And we put in our budget for this next year extra for trying to get them more rain. Yes, but, we did. And I think sure. we need to because, like Kenzie, I mean, it's hard to find help. I mean, like, oh, I think they ought to be ought to be twelve bucks an hour. You're going to be like you was cutting the back. You don't know what what crew you're going to have until right. you get out there and see it. Right. I mean, our turnovers will be horrible. And let's make sure our range. Yeah. This worker is also the mechanic. Yeah, yeah. The and the mechanic ought to make more money. Let's make sure there's sure sure is a, a rate for the mechanic. I know that. No, I don't know what it is. Because the mechanic is yeah, supposed to be whole, have him whole whole different. Different. Yeah. Yeah. He should have a whole different title than the yes. road work. Yes. Yes. Road yes. Yes. Saves but us a we're, bunch still, money. we're still going to need him to, you know, remove snow. He falls right back to that right now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what you can do. Also, duties as county road worker. Yeah, that's it. Put it on there with his mechanic. I agree. Because I know he saves us a lot of money. I tell you. <laughs> Hard to find a good mechanic. Yeah, I know that. and and I think his his wage ought to be at the fifteen buck an hour thing. Yeah, I think he's at thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back to the road. But worker. yeah, the road worker. Morning. I think twelve, twelve to sixteen. They're not making it now. No, they're not making right. it now. But so, do we want to include what they're making now? Well, and go up? are we going to give them that big of a raise now? Because it needs to reflect the actual. Yeah, it's true. So I'd like to see our our lowest guys make twelve bucks an hour. I'm with you on that. I I'm kind of with you on that too. I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I mean, <laughs> well, that's going to raise everybody up if you do that. If, 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 you, if you put the lowest guy at twelve dollars, right? Then yeah. you're getting everybody a buck and a half uh, raise. Everybody right. going to have to go up. Yeah. Other than maybe the top two, because we give uh, yes. the role supervisor and assistant, assistant so got they got to yeah. raise the first of the year. So, I mean, that's. I personally think I need twelve dollars yeah. would be based on the rest of the world. I think twelve dollars on you know would be a good starting rate to you know incentive to stay here. I mean, right? Because it's good hours, you got good insurance, but you know, right. But still. they got to eat, and we do want to keep some of these guys are really good. They got. They operate heavy equipment that, you know, that pays big money if they're working for a private company. Mm -hmm. Like a skid steer, you know, a bulldozer. I, you know, once you get the CDLs, you're going to be moving up too. Yeah. So, yeah. But you're still going to be required to pick up a shovel too. Yeah. Yeah. Stand on the side of the road with idiots driving by with that little sign that says stop. stop. Yeah, exactly. sometimes you don't need that sign. It don't work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So what do we want to put the road work? Well, we, we want to wait on oh, well, see what they're doing right now. What they're making. Ten fifty is what 
they start they at. They start at 10 50 yeah. with the understanding that they get their CDL. They go to 11 dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You, you would be saying in this that you would move everybody up to 12 if you put that in here. That's what I would say because yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking. By this. That's what I'm thinking. So, I mean, move those 10 50 guys it, up to 12. Mm -hmm. like he said that means everybody gets a dollar and a half raise except the two top guys. And, and, well, the mechanic. And I, I think, think the on the on the guys who are making over the twelve bucks an hour, we give them that two and a half, three percent raise that we were talking about when we worked on the budget. And some of the guys and of course our mechanic raised his pay. Uh, but some of the other guys, yeah, they've been bumped up. I think we have four guys in this ten under the twelve dollar range. Four or five guys. Well, you're going back to the CTL thing. You get a incentive if you That's get true. Over there. But, Make it 11. But, well, but you're coming right back if you got health issues or whatever. Yeah, that's true. He don't have to have, but he's still going to get the rates. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that, that's what that, I'm saying. Do we go to but now you, now you get CDL? Now, now you got a guy that's got, got the CDLs and on there. I don't know where we if Okay. We, okay. Say we started at 12 for just the regular road worker. Where would that put if you got Class C? Where are Class C's right now? At 1150. Are they at 1150? Yeah. yeah. So they would be 13, right? Yep. <coughs> and a Class B, 14? I think if you're yep. going to raise up the lower tier, <coughs> in order to be fair to everybody, you about have to give them the same raise because you know how people talk out there. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're going to say, yeah. they're well, I just got a dollar raise, and yeah. the guy over here said, mm -hmm. I just got 50 cents. What happened here? You know? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it's got to be well, a it'd be dollar. a conversation. It, it, maybe we don't have to do it all this year, but right towards that. So, And I think you're looking need, at next year's. You need one class of CDOs, not three. Not three. Eight, three. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not in mine. I mean, it's I don't think you about it. I mean, it's I think it's yeah, all those notes. Down. I don't know. That's what I say. I, yeah, I, know, I didn't write it in there. <laughs> okay, what well, do you got the uh, rates for the road workers? Okay, um, you know, to start with the first one, Steve, yes. Steve Tag, fourteen forty six. Steve's part time. He's part time. He's part time. Okay, uh, Reagan, fifteen fifty five. And what does he do? Randy. Yeah, regular he's worker. regular worker. He got any he must have. That was that was where he was the part time guy. He was when we did the when we set the rates of their pay. Oh. Let me just make copies of these. That'd yes. be easier uh. than you all <laughs> have to write all that stuff down. What it was. That yeah. right there. He was it, just no, we, didn't. After he quit. we didn't he when was he was he when he was interim and part time. Part time or assistant. <coughs> yeah, but you're going to take them out. You know, it's certain thing. Uh, In term? Yeah, that's the word I'm up for. Yep. Yep. Oh, Take one, pass it around. Right. He's not. But when we when we when we set the when we set the pay, we made Mike the regular guy. We made Barry the, the assistant. And Randy, we made just a regular worker, but we kept his pay. And I say we. It was all five of us. Right. Well, and that's yeah. where we go to uh, 256. All right, Ricky's, guy. Ricky's yeah. the mechanic, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then you got these three guys. But if you take these up, yeah. you going up. And, and I don't think we should raise him up. No, I don't either. Yeah, because we, we left his pay at that, yeah. Yeah. At that yeah. intern he level. He stays yeah. there until you, right. have, you know, however long it is to... Until we, until we go for the next raise, you know, maybe next fiscal year, so, whatever. So you got five that don't have CDLs out there? I believe so. Is it four? Yeah, it is five. Well, is that what? I if, thought they're making, if they're Excuse making me? 1082. Mm -hmm. see. Well, but, I can go double check and make yeah, sure. Yeah, he, he shouldn't be rather. because of his CDLs. He's got five. Yeah, but 1250 is what we Well, then he ought to be made. making more than 1050. Yeah. How long? 12, How long after you hire do you get the CDL bump? 
uh, as soon as you get it. I think it was automatically. Yeah, as soon as you get it. Is it retroactive? Uh, it is not. <laughs> so if they have it when they come in. But it should be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they already get yeah, when you come in, you went to the top of the line. Right? Yes, that? yes, like like this guy at the bottom. That's he what, that be, was, that was we'll go ahead and put him at twelve fifty. At right now. Yes, yes. Okay. So is that the raise for the CDL two bucks? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's oh. because he's got the A's. What Kenny was reading, and I don't see it, but Kenny. But we still whatever Kenny careful. read. We still got to be careful yeah. about like, when they hire in with a certain amount of CDLs that they're evaluated. They, I mean, they might come in and not, not show up, not show up, not work, call in, not come in be late, insubordinate. Yeah, I mean, just attitude. Because, yeah, well, there's other ways to take things. care of that. Though. Right. Yeah, no. Yes. But we want to make sure. You know, I think you just need the one CDL required. The required CDL. Yeah, it was ten fifty. And not the big, all that big stuff. We're not. We don't have tractor and trailers. Mm -hmm. But what do you got to have to drive ten? B or B C? C? Is it a B? I think it's a B. B in it. The 20, is it 26,000 pounds or more? Yeah, yeah. probably. There's everybody's. Yeah, that's, what I, uh, that's what I got up here. Yeah, they, it's all over the place here. I'm trying to, I mean, try, so. I just want to make sure it's. Well, we should pay them for driving something that's not required. Right. Just for, if you have your CDL. It's beam, great. Yeah. If you have more, that's. Was that right on the fluff? Yeah, 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 that's right. Let me, let, I, 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 will, I will clarify this a little bit. If I had Class A CDLs, I'd be driving for something besides. Exactly. There's a reason. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Unless you're oh, retired and just want to yeah, unless you be close to home. Yeah. Be close yeah. to home, I think. Right. I think that's the and goal. We've only got two trucks, three trucks that require CDL, yes. CDL out there. Yeah. I know the new tandem or the new single axle we bought is under under, under twenty six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have enough guys with CDLs to drive them, I guess. Or, yeah, with Barry, Steve, and no, we had that incentive in there. If you got it, you got bumped up, and you need to get yeah, it. And I think yeah. I think we, we, we need to leave that incentive. I do too. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah I agree. I, I just do. don't think that we need a category for. I don't know. I don't CDL. think you need to we jump up because you get the highest there is. You know, just if you get your CDLs able to drive. The required, the CDL. required, required CDL. CDL. Yeah. What we gonna say that is B. Yeah, we I want mean, to be required to drive. Just put the required CDL there. and that leaves you open to if you ever have to have another. Yeah, you know. just put the required CDL. Yeah. Okay. And that's a two dollar race? Dollar fifty race, dollar race? Yeah, right now it's a dollar, but but I, I still want to bump up the bottom guys to twelve I do bucks. Too. Yeah, I do too. I, they need to go up. You got, I, right. you yeah. got five under twelve bucks an hour. That 1050. And these other guys, I, I know they want raises too, but. I numbered them from one to 10 at the top. Number two just needs to be stayed right where that's at. Top yeah. four is what I got. One, two, three, four, yeah. Well, yeah, top four. Yeah. And then change the rest of them because our mechanic, I think he ought to be making at least 15. I'd be making what number two is. Just because, know? yeah, just because one, of what we say. Three, there's five needs to go up. There's five needs to go up. Yeah. And then give the other ones the the three percent if we decide to on that. Yes. Yes. But not give the three percent to this. Just and not it. give it to those guys. Right. So you're saying and none year, of this will go into effect until July first. Not uh, well. The three percent shouldn't go to number two, four, or number f first four. No, two, three, four. Yep. Well, number one will get a three percent, wouldn't it? No. You wouldn't. Okay, just leave that right yeah. there for part time. Okay. Well, first four then. So there would be no raises but this. Adjust pay adjustment, pay adjustment. adjustment. and it'll go into effect in July. July why, first. Why is, is Steve making this rate? Right. Is it because he's uh, twenty years retired and we're not paying in to the retirement. retirement fund? There's a reason he is making this rate, and I can't remember what it was. No insurance or no money. I don't know if he's going to insurance. I don't think he is. I don't think so. Yeah. Since he's retired, I don't think. Yeah. Look he's just twenty hours a week. Just twenty hours. A week. So road worker base pay twelve bucks an hour to sixteen. That'll cover our CDLs if they get them. And we'll that. have to do that at a different time on that. 
Well, if he's if he's saying it's adjustment pursuant to the changes that you're making in the administrative Only in code, the code. Yeah. then when the administrative code, when you do your you first reading, reading for yeah. it, then you can do that at a regular session, and then you can increase the, the pay, you know, okay. at that time. But you can't increase it that's at this what, point. That's what right. 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 And we, we would only increase it after the second reading, is that right? Yeah. So July. So right now we want to say what we can and what we're going to go right. up to. Right. Oh, right. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, we're kind of speculating. It's 12 to yeah. 16. But at least cover that pay at 12 bucks an hour. All right. The next. There we are, ambulance director. And you're going to make administrative code for the... Road County mechanic. mechanic. Yes, and make a whole new job description yeah. for him. I didn't see you write it down. I just you. remind you. Yes, thank you. Then and add in there also mechanic slash county worker. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can just put that slash. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's good. And what's his pay? At base at 15. Okay, so what are we going to make his? Go 15 to 17 on him. You That'll give it. us room for raises on next fiscal year. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. All right. All right, ambulance service director. We have budgeted right now forty-five thousand two hundred fifty. Okay. But that's for. Well, do we want to call him salary? I don't think he's making that though. He's not. He may not. That this is what we have. Right. Yeah, we this was for Sharon, I guess, yeah. when we start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he's he's new to the position. He so. is. So he we can call it forty thousand. To is he salary or is he? He's salary. It says non-exempt. Yeah. Okay, so that that is salary. Now how's that one? How's that work? How's that work? He has to make money. Yeah. He has to make money. You can be both salary. You can be exempt or non-exempt. Okay. You mean Will? Uh, yeah, that don't play into it at all. Yeah. Will, right yeah. now, he's he's not been billing us. Right. He's probably he's just calling it into his salary. Right. Yeah. And I like that. Oh, I do too. But she get in trouble with the auditor on that because he's the director. He's the director, yeah. he's the director yeah. and uh -huh. he's getting a salary. But right. he turns around, and makes a run. Right. So then and turns in hours. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. All. So he's not turning in hours. He's just doing it as another task. Yeah. 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 That. Yeah. Okay. So he's. What are we going to say? His pay is 40 to 45? Will he make the 40 this year? Uh, I think he's going to be close. Uh, okay. Well, no, because he's he's only been it since January. So I guess, yeah, January to January will, but not not July to yeah. June. 35 to 40 Yeah. Now? Well, this, this is going to go into effect July 1, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so it'll be July what he makes 1 to next July 1. Yes. He'll make mm -hmm. right. that fiscal year. Yeah. Right. And he should hit the 40 then. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that's, of course, about his thing. And I will tell you guys, he's been so aggressive. I, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, the numbers. Because I know what we budgeted was 210. Last year it was 190. And, and I saw the increase and we went to 210 on the ambulance stuff. But if he stays at the rate he's going, uh, it's very likely we're going to hit over 300. And that is in his code about the billing, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'd like for them to be able to self sufficient and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, it, and it very well could that. because he's really staying on top of it. Uh, all right, the EMTs. And I, and I think we need something in here about mandatory overtime mm -hmm. because they do they already work overtime. I mean, it's it's mandatory, but uh, Will had asked me something about putting some language in here that says mandatory overtime. Do we lose them pretty quick out there? Uh, well, we've got one hurt. It's hard well, to find. I'm, I'm talking about just no. Not coming in. Well, I mean, do they come in for two or three months and they're gone? Oh, mm -hmm. I've, we've we've hired one full-time person since I've been in here, and I think we've hired a part-time person. What, what is our starting rate now on that? It is uh, eleven eleven dollars an hour. Yeah, so there's our base pay for that one. And it's and and then the ones that were here from last year are making eleven thirty-three. 
I, I know y'all get tired hearing about last year, two years ago, and all that. But, That's all right. Uh, but Never. We raised the road workers up a dollar an hour. Okay. It wasn't three weeks to a month later, we heard from EMS that, yeah. hey, we're just as important as they are. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And, we bu and we bumped them up too yeah. at the time because they was down to, I think at one time their starting pay was minimum wage. Right. It was seven That's quarter, what they were telling you. So, you know, we got it up to $11 an hour, but I don't think we're still up to the amount that the surrounding counties are paying. No, we're not. Right. You, you had the, what did you say, the Gallatin County and then we're making it? We'll look that down for me and yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, you know, making a dollar more, you stay But they're making more than us. Some type of money. Owen yeah. County was the only one that made us. No, no, and that's a private, no. and they private. That's a private thing. Yeah, they, 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 we could do that. Right. We could turn this over to a private company very quickly. No, yeah, and it would take a lot of headache off of us real quick. But do we so want to do that? Back, yeah. yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's all control. Yeah. yeah, you don't have. Any. I apologize. But it can, it can turn over. Will there's companies that want us. <laughs> Do we do like out there, well, like a sign up bonus, you know, if you get a sign in bonus, yeah, sign -in sign bonus yeah. you're there six months and you show up. That's not bad. Uh -huh. And That's same way for the certifications. Some of these go for more time. Here. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Like it, there's one of them out there. Uh, she's taking some more training. She's She is ready to go that if, if we ever go, uh, advanced life support like right now we're basic life support but if we go ALS she's good to go she's one of them so she's an EMT yeah you got EMR you got EMTs yes it's so some technical yes, yes. She's, she's a paramedic yeah paramedic yeah, paramedic. That's, yeah that's it and that's that's coming that's gonna be state maybe it's kind of it's yeah we're not gonna have a choice on that yeah. we'll to go with ALS who, who, who is that uh, her name's Katie Elizabeth A.K.A. Batman. <laughs> they all call her. Henry County makes 1196. Starting out, medic makes 1525. There you go. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what. Will had a broke down. He's showing me that. Is that 1196? Yeah. Take I'll, Oldham out of it. Right. Absolutely. Take, take Oldham out. Well, we should really fun. compare like to Owen. Owen it's, and, and Henry. That's more similar to us. Henry, Carol, and Galton all make more than what we do down here. Well, I think we're ahead of Owen. Do we want to make their their base at 12? I think we, we could we raise the road to find I didn't want to raise them up. Right. Three, so. yeah. Yeah, I agree. So put them at starting at 12. Base at 12 yeah, and go to go to, so. go to 15. What did the road? Yeah. Did you say 16 on the road? Oh, yeah. yeah. So 12 yeah. to 16. There you, you go. You better say 16 on this? There you go. You just, uh, they do like 24 on, 48 off, overtime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With where we're staffed, they, they, a lot of them get overtime. Couple, well, we've got a couple of them. We've got several part-time people. Right. And and that's something in that report I gave you a minute ago from Keiko yeah. is talking about uh, yeah. on ambulance workers or EMS workers about their hours because there's so many uh, EMTs or paramedics that are working full-time in one county and then going to the next county and on their days off and working and when do they sleep right and that's something that uh i'm gonna have to talk with will about because we don't need any sleepy ambulance drivers right well i, I think it might be a little rest out there in between runs and sure stuff. and that helps if they can do that they got yeah. beds out there they can lay down in well i say there's a law required rest anyway i think so like 16 hours a day or something that they're physically working. All right, so we go 12, 16 on them. All right, county. Well, this one is the one we had to question. They're both getting overtime and yes. count time. And they up? should get one or the other. Well, one or the other. I don't, I have mixed, mixed feelings on this one. Yeah, yeah, because it says non-exempt. I know, so if we want to go by it, we can. But those guys work a lot of overtime. They and do. sometimes they want to save some up. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. You, you need time off sometimes. Yeah. So let's call them exempt. Well, I, I don't know how we do it. I don't know how you give them both. I mean, right well, we like give them both. Are we going to take route. something away from them? On but, the you know, and you get to the point where they've got their 250, so they have to take it. 
Right. But so, you need them there because they got staff. enough people. So. So, we, yeah. so now you you, yeah, you so see my question. Box, so you, yeah. You know, what do you do with so these? So you have to pay them the overtime. Right. Okay. And and that's what I put on that hours of work. It's on the back page where they can yeah, they can they pick can so choose. many. Yeah, they can pick. So that's have. the only group that can pick and choose. I think so. Okay. Well, I'm, no. I don't know. No. Roads should be able to do that too if they want to. <laughs> you should state that. Through the whole. And that's what this is. This is this is just hours of work for everybody. But if it's going to be specific as to two entities, then nothing that you should. State. Then leave it. Leave it like this, or no? No, state in there. Thing All employees can, can do that. No, just the ones that you're saying can choose. Okay. Like the 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 and the the yeah. Yeah, because I put example row ambulance service workers. All right, so road and EMS. You don't want to cover anybody else. else. In case they want some money or some hours. Okay. So on fiscal soft, mm -hmm. we would want them to put cop hours, and we'd want to be able to see that on that wage statement. So let's talk. See if we can get that. Yeah. Right. Get that done. You know, if, even your overtime on my check, it shows our vacation. It deducts my vacation as I take as, it. Yes. Yeah. You know, have this many available. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure if we talk to them, they, they'll have something like this. They say they can, mm -hmm. but they'll have to train us how to do it, but we sure can. That way we, that way you don't have to, to automatically do. keep up with it, right. but every statement, there it is. There, it's in their, yeah. in their What checks. the heck happened here? They're making yes. keep up. Yes. Do we want to check cover anybody else under that? I mean, animal or dog? Board. Yeah, we can. I mean, I just don't want to go and do it all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, all. that's kind of what it is right now. It's it's a blanket. That's not the only part. You all okay with it? Yeah, I mean, taking it either way. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Right well, now, right now. Right. Leave, it, leave it then the way it is. No matter who they are, if they want overtime or, but they have to designate it on their time sheets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. County Park. Do they say overtime or? Yeah, it's either one. They just have to designate which one they want. They want to be paid overtime or, or have comp time. Yeah. For a reporting pay period. All right, county work, county oh, parks yeah. guy. I think he's about 17 Looks bucks. Like going right now. Now. <laughs> uh, let's see. County parks worker. I don't know what he's in that. He's in what, $18? 17 or 18 I think he is a partner. Did you put him on supervisor? In the yes, yes, because that's mm -hmm. the county park. Make sure there's yeah. not another one back here. Yeah. Is that Billy or is that his assistant? That's him. He's oh, okay. the we, we just had park attendant salaries. We lump them every one together, 53. You want me to go see what Billy Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's 18 now, <laughs> but it, I might be off a few cents one way or the other. But y'all, previous court gave him a raise last year, right? Right. 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 Yeah, right. it was like in October or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, and I think there's another one that saves the county money. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know he does. Yeah. Uh, his base, this person's base pay, we could call him uh, twelve bucks an hour, mm -hmm. and then up to whatever he's making, plus a little cushion for a raise. Well, mm -hmm. now county park worker, that is just the supervisor position, yeah. and not. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't I think mean, I changed a... the worker Kenny to say supervisor. Okay. Because I don't think we have a sheet for the for the actual workers part time. So workers what we could do there. is copy this for the worker, okay. and then then have one for him says supervisor. So we put this in place. That's what we're going with. Yeah, yeah, at least for a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like eight. everybody have the same page. Yeah, no yeah. joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, don't come up with three different things. Hopefully you can come up with six copies of the same thing. Everybody's got to bring theirs internal men. Yeah. 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 So you got to get rid of them. I'm going to burn mine. Yeah, man. Put page numbers, I recommend. Yes, yes. Uh, exactly. Yes. yes, I don't know why there's not. There are but some. Every, yeah, yes, some. But they're spotty. Yeah. And I know Kip to help put this thing together, so I don't, they must just piece me with it, you know. No, let's throw this in there. It sounds good. Yeah, that looks really good. Let's throw that in there. 
You know, the intent, the intent is admirable. All right, while she's looking at him, de Deputy County Clerk, uh, I don't know why we have this job description in us, because this is this is Tina's stuff, isn't it? I would think. Yeah. I don't know. She's not paid by the county at all. Is right. She? She's solely state. Right. Billy makes seventeen seventy eight. Oh, and Tammy makes ten thirty. She but she's part time. And what about Jim and Jim uh, Young? Yeah. He's probably ten thirty oh, well, too. That's all right. I'd pay probably ten thirty. I'd yeah. probably. He's probably same as Tammy. Is he seventeen? Okay. Seventy-eight. And you was going to play what? Eighteen? Uh, no, no. Uh, twelve. To, yeah, oh, 12, yeah, twelve to eighteen. Okay. Or twelve to nineteen. Yeah, right. Let's go twelve to nineteen. Give him some wiggle room. Yeah. Yeah, because these are not exact wages we're going to pay. It just right. says we're in that range. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you know you'll have to pay the bond. Yes. Yes. That because part everybody's going to find that. Now. Take that front one first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bottom, yeah. 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 It's the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah, the county. All right. So, you yeah. know, this deputy county clerk kind of has a mix of Susan's responsibilities and whoever assists you with getting the ordinances numbered and recorded. That would be over Tina's office, yeah. Okay. Maybe we can say that or refer to Tina about it. Talk yeah. to her and see what, what her see what she knows. responsibilities are. Yeah. Alright. Well, this says assist the county clerk. So yeah, and I think get somebody in her office. Who is that? That almost makes it sound like somebody. That would be uh, over here. This girl sits in the front. Sarah. 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 Oh, yeah. I think that's what she mm -hmm. does. Okay. Sister. But uh, again, I'm like you. I don't know why we've got it. Oh, because they are paid for by the county, aren't they? Her yeah. yeah, we write their checks. Yeah. But Tina's uh, paid for by the state. Yes. Because we. I thought we need to look to see what Sarah's. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, county clerk fees are things like if we bought a new vehicle or something, we have to, you know, pay a tax. Registration. Or registration whatever. or. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to leave this one the same? Is her pay in that range, do you think? I have no idea. You know, Regina, is it what do we have in the budget for deputy county clerk? All right, I guess it's a fee office. They they have their yeah, own budget. Yeah, she has her own. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Can we take that out? I'd say so because you're amending it. So. Yeah, Tina said so. Let's not do that. Let's go to the shredder. <laughs> Well, uh, you now both. we got to deal with dang deputy sheriff. Get out, get out of your book. Get out of your book, man. That's a fee office too. Just throw it away. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what's next. Just deputy sheriff. You exit out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't set their pay. No, we didn't. Yeah, Charlie does that, or whoever the sheriff is, you're going to set their pay. The sheriff's yes. Yeah. Now, it's in the budget, so you well, y'all y'all. So and same way with the budget, budget. Which has the right. salaries in it. Deputy Jailer, same way. It's in there too. Well, it's getting easier yeah. all the time, ain't it? Yes, so are, corner. Are we agreeing? Right, now that one we do do the pay. <laughs> <laughs> we do well, the pay. Yeah, we've got another one. Yeah, we'll wait. Yeah. Are we, uh, They're just going to disappear. Because mm -hmm. I, I mean, the trailer has his own budget, and we, yeah. don't, we don't set yeah. the pay. He does his own right. thing, too. The deputy. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hmm. Go ahead, hmm. J.D. I hate to back you up on the county worker. You know they get paid 10 30 but you didn't set a range on that one. Which, said, which one is it? When you did Billy's, you did Billy's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to do a, a worker, you too. Said gonna copy yeah, so, uh, you mean on part? Yeah. So $10 to, to 12 10 to 12 is fine, yeah. Yeah. Which one are you talking about? Yeah, County park worker. Right? We just did County park worker. Yeah, we, oh, okay. yeah, we yeah, call yeah. Billy the supervisor. Yeah. So. And then the people that help him mow, they'll be in 10 to 12 range. Okay. Just didn't want to get too far before I forgot myself. Could you have one for the corner? Is it the corner or county paid? Uh, yes. So yeah, we don't have one, one for the regular corner. Good ass season. 
Maybe the range on the park will do. Well, I think and I think we could probably refer to KRS something or KAR on the corner, can we, Crystal? I'm sorry, what? For their job description, can we say refer to KS, KRS, or KAR, whichever mm -hmm. one it applies? Yep. Because there's a section in KRS. Just four yeah, corners. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would I would think a lot of their <clears throat> deputy corners the same. Uh, and their, their pay, I think Bill is like 300 a month, three something a month. Uh, so we could call the base, we could call that pay uh, 3,000 to 5,000 a year. Just on your salary? Yeah, just on deputy. And the, the coroner's pay. The state said that? They tell us how much we pay? Yeah, I, I don't know if they do. It's like 800 bucks a month or 900, isn't it? Well, we have budgeted 9785 for the corner. Okay. And 4500 for the deputy. Oh, all right. Well, then three well, to five is a good range. range. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need a job description for the corner, too. There's higher. There's the corner. Excuse me? The corner's higher, ain't it? Yeah. Yes, uh -huh, that's Frederica. No, they've got two deputies out there, though. Yeah, but that just, that just falls underneath. They split it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think because uh, the one is stepping down and that new one's coming in that we talked about. But the still, Lee's a deputy, too. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know if he gets paid. Okay. I don't believe he does. Okay. I've not seen a check. To go to her. Her. Yeah. yeah. Well, she gets her whole 56 cents. Yeah, I was going to say, she gets a whopping yeah. less than a dollar. Yeah, it's yeah. very little. Insurance, yeah. yeah. Which works out good for us. Uh, job descriptions for uh, park worker, corner, uh, Bruce. What was the other job description? Maintenance supervisor. Yeah, yeah, maintenance, that's what it was. I put maintenance, or a... He was going to start the mechanic, the mechanic on the road work. Yes, and the mechanic. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all this old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we got anything else on them? Just re I want to recap here right now. Back to the. Do you like that? Do you like the attendance policy? Yeah, I do. I, 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 we going to put time clocks across the. No. What are we going to do about that? Uh, the, only, the only ones that have the time clocks are the, mm -hmm. are the road people. Okay. And I, you know, those things are pretty expensive. And just, you know, I like it. I mean, I, I look through it. And, Terrible ones. I look. I, I mean, I like them. We got to have some sort of accountability on it. Yeah. Yes. Point, point out or whatever. Vacation. Yeah. We had guys before we came to court. They were gone for a now month. Route, all of December. Right. I don't see how that can happen. Right. And, and I can tell you, it will not happen. It, it, if you're sick and you're off for medical reasons. Yeah, but you have to have a doctor's note, and that's in here too. Yeah. And there was, there was. Different ones that took time, sick time off, and I never saw any doctor's notes. Yeah, does Bruce do a time? He does not. Yeah, he does a time sheet. And you know, and, and that's something we could do. We could put in time clocks in this office for people like yeah. Vicky and Lisa. And I think we should have a time clock. I mean, to keep up with it. If you're going to have a time clock. There ought to be some language in there as to what the penalty is if you clock in one of your fellow employees or clock out clock in somebody else. Well, that's a law. Yeah, that is. That yeah, that's a law. Yeah, that does happen. So. Yeah. yeah, and there's language in that uh, in that hours work part where it talks about failure to clock in. Yeah, the failure to clock out and such. I think it'd be easier to keep up with too. Yeah. It would be. It think be more I think if you come in and you just. I'm talking about expensive. Right. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. 
you know, there, there's, there's big circumstances. It comes in and somebody catches an some employee on the way to the clock. Hey, will you look at this? And they flat forget it. Right. They have to go to their supervisor. They're like, man, I forgot to clock yes. in this morning. I was here, what I've done. You know, things like that. Right. You know, it didn't happen and occur. I think, it, I think it would be better for the auditor, don't you? Uh, I do too. If, they had, if we had time clocks. Mm -hmm. I think probably will, yeah. That way you've got a back, I mean, not just. Does Bruce report here every day? No, he does not. Okay. You see me calling those great landfill sometimes? Or up here around the courthouse. Right. Yeah. Well, if it's around the courthouse, he, he, I he, see. Yeah. Yeah, he ought to be able to punch him in. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but, uh, but yes. I'm coming here to get his vehicle. He, yeah. I mean, yeah. he leaves his vehicle parked up here that he uses. Yeah. So. Right. Oh, but, well. But sometimes he's doing stuff here that he don't take the vehicle yet. Yeah, right. Yeah. But he does still has to come here. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got to pass here to get there. That's right. That's right. He can just come in. Did we, yeah. did we have an orientation period? Was it six months? Okay. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> I need to love that one. <laughs> I'll just kind of recap the, my notes, and you guys help me if we've got anything. Uh, I'm going to add, add 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 asphalt to that, or add, add a whole new sheet of paper for a uh, new form for people who come in want to bid asphalt, right. uh, and get it into paper next week. Um, that's him. That's him. Pick up the plan or delivery. or delivery. Right. Okay. Um, And then the uh, add a number five to the county treasurer, and we're going to put refer to 60 KRS 68.020. Uh, we need, I'll go back to job, yeah, we need job descriptions for maintenance coordinator Bruce, um, the mechanic road worker, and then the county road uh, or the county park worker, and the coroner. That's it. I want to add something. Most of these other job descriptions, we, we only mention the treasurer, but they are indicated in KRS. And I can provide you for each one if you want to include that in duties and responsibilities to abide by the terms set up in KRS if you want those. Okay. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that would work to add, add those too. I want to say you put this as hard and hard, but you do have that in there? Were you are and are? Uh, Do we have to have that in there? Well, we are an at-will state. I think it's in KRS's Yeah. Okay. 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 There, Kirby. I'll throw in five dollars. Anybody else help? We'll get a clock. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put that time clock right up here. You just... It's <laughs> three fifty seven. Yeah. The one that sometimes says eight o'clock, sometimes says three o'clock, sometimes says four. It's two minutes to four. Yeah. Uh, there. Okay, with uh, <laughs> like his third time. I don't know what he was looking for. For the next meeting. For, the next for meeting. our regular meeting. And I'll get some prices of different ones to okay, get. We, we need to cover the concrete blocks. How will we go? How many yes. are we going to order? Yeah. Or what? Mike says we can get a hundred for five thousand dollars. And I want to. And I want to talk to the park to see what they're willing to pay. Okay. Now, not the park, the fair. Because a lot of those blocks are going to be used out there for their demolition derby. For their. Well, I, I mean, can almost answer that one. We'll, we'll rent them to them. There, there you go. <laughs> Well, I mean, if we're going to get a hundred, I mean, they just give us a, they next, give us a price. Yeah. Next July you know, heck, if they gave us two thousand dollars, that'd be yeah. that'd be ahead of the. We'd be ahead a little bit. What were you saying, Chris? I said we, we may use a hundred over the next year, and that's very very possible. Yep, we'll just go out the park and get them. Mm -hmm. And if and if if we do, we can we can buy more for the 
mark. No, that's what's going to say. If, if they make a donation, then they're going to expect them to be left to be out, out there, right. like, not yeah. us. Yeah. And I know that, that that's to. something that uh, Bobby Couch is a guy that's running this right. for that. And I know he wants to have races every so often, would, once would, a month. Would, or, do they want? I mean, guardrails won't work. They want these and blocks. They want them blocks. Yeah. Do. And they're about we're talking, talking about the same block. blocks, yeah. right? Yeah. They're mm -hmm. talking about because they don't stick up real high. No. Yeah. No. I think what he wants too high. high. Too yeah, high. Yeah, I think they're three foot. He wants them too high. Yeah. Full car can't come over. Yeah. We probably want them too high, also. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah we sure do. Standards. Especially if they're if they're racing tractor and trailers out there, in that three hundred foot drag strip. Yeah. You don't have much of a takeoff. It, it can be a quick race. <laughs> I mean, if we buy them, I mean, it, I could still ask them. But the, the, the fair the starts. Mean gonna the fair is going to start before our next meeting. Yeah. They always ask for the insurance too, don't they? And yes, we got that done. Uh, sent those papers in today. How much is it? I didn't see a price on it. Do you remember seeing a price on it against us? I think it was just signing off saying terrorism. And I don't remember what that was the thing that stood out for me. Yeah. They sued us and the And we get them a dumpster. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Well, we want it to be. Yeah. 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 And we, you might say, we furnish them the portal lights out there. Yeah. And they want lights too. I'm a farmer's fair. Me too. Me too. Have it right over there. Yep, right there in the oh, parking right. lot. <laughs> That's been a little bit, hasn't it? I don't know. Been I don't a while. Know, if we get them out, a couple of days ago, we have to be under the understanding we can go get them and use them wherever right. we need to be. Well, then, can I get a motion to buy a hundred of them, five thousand dollars? I mean, we purchase them. There are blocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah, and if and if fair gives us any money at all, we're tickled pink. You make that motion, JD. I sure will. All right, and I'll second. All right, thank you guys. Any more discussion on it? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's figure. Yeah. What about the hauling them? Yeah, that's, that's right. What I was think. How are we going to get a hundred blocks here? Delivery, maybe. At fifty bucks, I think it's. Well, I mean, let's not let's let's don't go over five thousand. Well, we're yeah, not let's, let's and make that. Let's make that our top dollar. Maybe you can ask the fair if they'll have them hauled. There you go, paid a delivery. That's we're only going to spend five thousand. Yeah. Having them delivered there to the park, go. or. If it I mean, that, we're amending that motion, Susan. You hear that? <laughs> now that's being worded. Get <laughs> Now that's being worded. Mm -hmm. Right. Got plenty of paper. Is that your amended motion? I guess that's my amended motion. <laughs> amended motion that we do not go over five thousand dollars. Okay. Yes. JD Jones moved to purchase one hundred blocks plus hauling at a maximum cost of five thousand dollars. There you go. That sounds good. Is that, that what you said? Yep. <laughs> sounds just like what I already said. Yeah, that's, what yeah. I said. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. <laughs> yes. Second, you? Yeah, second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And the opposed. All right. All right. Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? A second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. And then, uh, Crystal, do you think we can have some kind of amendment ordinance ready by the 17th? Of you June? want me to draft it? Would you please? Aye. Yeah. Uh, what day? 17th. I'm looking over your shoulder. Yeah, I'm 17 inches. Go ahead and throw all these other things.